Right here at 7 Action News, we want to help you get around Metro Detroit from getting roads fixed to making sure construction is on track. And even working for change to reduce our car insurance rates. This morning, we're taking a closer look at why Michigan roads are so bad in the first place. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Roseville near the ongoing 696 construction. So Matt, what have you found out about this road problem? You know how big it is. Well, I knew. I mean, we could literally parse this up into any way that you want to. I mentioned just before the break that D minus infrastructure report card on our roads alone. So we could talk about a lack of investment for many years. Heck, we could even talk about the weight restrictions on our roads, whether or not we are allowing too much weight on our roads. We can even discuss the roads themselves and the difference between construction versus maintenance. The reality is, there's a lot that goes into why our roads are so bad right now. We've seen over the last couple of decades our roads significantly decline. If you ask the folks over at Michigan Infrastructure and Transportation Association, they'll be the first to say our roads are bad. Years ago, the state had a goal to get 85 to 90 percent of our roads in fair or good condition. We actually hit that goal, but we didn't invest enough to maintain that. And there is the kickoff to the biggest problem, money. That cash is starting to roll in now and construction is popping up, but the investment is late. The key difference between other states and Michigan, the investment in maintenance. Ohio's roads are in much better condition. Well, for 20 years or so, they have uh, invested over a billion dollars more every single year into their transportation system, and they have virtually the same network that we do. So why don't we invest as much? After all, we always hear about how Michigan has some of the highest taxes at the pump. The reality is we're the only state with an added sales tax on top of a fuel tax that doesn't get earmarked for, you guessed it, roads. There are potholes all over the place. There was, it was a mess. I'm happy that they're starting to work on them. I think it's a necessity. It's inconvenient, but I do think we have to do it. So at a time when the public is even admitting a willingness to see construction barrels, the next question is, can we fix it? Perhaps more specifically, can we fix it with more than a Band-Aid? The bottom line is there is no secret sauce to the other states that have better roads than us. The reality is they're just spending more money than we are. Now, there is some things that Michigan can do, and there is more money coming in the fold from a move in 2015 to increase the construction budget. One example, instead of actually just fixing the roads, they're going to bid them out this next round where you not only have the construction crews fixing the roads, but they're also signing on to do the maintenance for the next 10 to 20 years. And we did focus on that maintenance issue with our roads, so that could potentially be something that we see a fix down the road. But again, that is down the road. And in the meantime, a lot of us are driving all those nasty roads, popping our tires, beating up our rims. It's an issue that takes a long time to fix. And then you have to invest long term to keep it fixed for the long term as well. For now, we're live in Roseville this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you very much, Matt. And this morning, we want to know which road issue do you think needs to be addressed first?